fantastic job you have done practicing having base words with endings like S, E, D, and I, N, G. Let's wrap up a review of all of these types of words today. I'm gonna to show you some words. I'm gonna ask you what's the ending and what's the base word. I hope your brain is just seeing this so easily now. If it's still feeling difficult, don't worry. Keep at it, keep practicing. The more you practice it, the easier it will be to just recognize that ending and the base word right away. Let's remember that if it ends in a CK, we don't do any change there at the end. If it ends in a silent E and we're adding an ending with a vowel, what do we do? Chop off that E and add the ending. And if it's a short vowel word and at the end it's just a vowel and a consonant, we double trouble those last two, that last consonant before we add the ending. Let's go ahead and see if we can recognize that in some words. Here we go. What's the ending? E-D, great. And the base word? Joke. So the word is joked. Great. New word, here you go. What's the ending? S, what's the base word? Slam. Yeah, no change to that M because I don't know, that's just the easiest thing. We don't change that base word when we just pop the S there. Here we go, ready? What's the ending? E-D. What's the base word? If you took off the E-D, it would just be trad. But we are like, that doesn't sound right. There was an E there that we chopped off. Long A, trade. The word is traded. Okay, what's the ending? S. What's the base word? Hint. Hints. What's the ending? Ing. I-N-G. Yup. What's the base word? Hug. Yeah. What do we do to that G? You just had it double trouble because of the short U. What's the ending? E-D. What's the base word? Dump. Dumped. Awesome. Here we go. There's no change there because there's two letters, two consonants after that vowel. Remember, we only double trouble when it's just a vowel and a consonant. Okay. What's the ending? S. What's the base word? Drops. Drop. The word is drops. Good. Oh, wait, the base word stayed the same. We still have drop. What's the ending? Yes, the ED makes that dropped with the double trouble. What's the ending? Ing. What's the base word? Would it be living or living? Living, yes, but live has an E, even though it's an oddball and that is not a long I. So we chop off that E. Okay, great job. Now, I'm gonna show you some sentences in this next video, and we're gonna look at what words in those sentences have endings. Can we identify them, see them so easily? If we can do that, then when we're reading, our brains are just gonna automatically know what the base word, what the ending is, and bam, we're gonna know those words so well. Here are sentences that we're gonna work with. Now, if you don't have something to write with, pause the video, grab a whiteboard or a notebook, and I'm gonna give you a minute to go ahead and write down as many words as you can find that have an ending added on. Go ahead.
bet you found so many words with endings ed, ing, and s. Let's start with the ed words because I see two of them in sentence number one. Jen closed and locked the door. Put a check mark if you wrote down the word closed with the ed and the word locked. Awesome. On close, there was an E that we chopped off to add the ED. And unlocked, no change because the CK is there. All right, sentence two, no ED words, but in sentence three, we see one. Kate tripped as we were hiking. You probably found the word tripped and that ED there. Do you see the double trouble because we have a vowel consonant at the end of trip? So we double that P. On the bottom in sentence four, no ED words. Let's pick a new color and let's look for words with ING. Sentence two has two of them. They are clapping and yelling. I know you found the word clapping and the word yelling. Now, clapping had a double trouble P right here because of the vowel consonant. Yelling, you might think that it had a double trouble, but the base word yell actually has two L's. So we have a vowel consonant consonant, which would mean we don't double because there's two consonants there. In the bottom sentence, we have no ING's. Is there one that I'm missing? I hope you said hiking. I almost skipped over sentence three with the word hiking. Kate tripped as we were hiking. Let's pick one new color and find our S words. When I look for those, sentence one, no words with S added. Sentence two, only ING. Sentence three, ED and ING. Sentence four, let's take a look. Dad scrubs and wipes the stove. You found scrubs, there's that S added on. And wipes, there's the S added on there. No change to those words, just pop the S on there. The E can stay, no double trouble. All right, well done. You are doing amazing at these words with endings. Here's our last challenge. It's a writing challenge. I'm going to give you eight words to try and write on your own. Think about the base words. Think about the endings that are added on to it and what you know about what you do when you add endings. You can do it. Here we go. Your first word is licked. The dog licked the ice cream cone. Your next word is faded. The sun had faded the cloth on the chair. Faded. If at any point I am going too fast, pause the video, take the time you need, and then carry on. Your next word is packing. We were packing for the big trip packing. Word number four, tugging. The dog was tugging on the toy. Your next word is hopes. After hopes is skipped, skipped. Great, naming, I think I've been forgetting to say sentences. The family had a f lot of fun naming their dog. So many sentences about dogs, you know I love them. Naming. And your last word, we already did skipping or skipped. We did skipped. Let's do skips. Skips. I bet you did amazing on all of those words. I'm going to pop them up here. Check your work.